Hi, you are tuned into Team Extreme FPV with myself, CO2, on the sticks and on the mic. In the following flight, I will entertain you my new glider from Top Model ZZ, the Gravis Maxi. More information about the actual setup you will find below in the descriptions. And for now, I hope you still enjoy the flight. So, here we go! An antenna tracker for video transmission is fixing the glider all the time. As you can hear, a variometer is showing the first thermal updraft. The second visual indicator for thermals is the X in the middle and following the numbers of the range video on screen display. Besides these two indicators, you can also have an eye on the changing height to detect the strength of the thermals. Meanwhile, you have recognized the front camera is mounted on a pan tilt. It will be operated via my head tracker and makes piloting much more comfortable than using rotary switches. Isn't it fascinating how excellent the graphics response on thermals? Considering the HD camera, once on the wing, once on the tail, affects the airflow significantly. Did I forget to mention the Gravis consists of two video cameras and a cam switch? This tiny 600 TVL gadget above the Python tube in the tail is just awesome in relation to the cost. In strong thermals, it is also my favorite camera because it comes with a FOV of 170 degrees and gives you a gorgeous overview. I wish I could have a HD camera permanently installed in the tail, but it should be as aerodynamic as possible, so only the lens can be outside. Before I finished the fuselage, I had a short test with a lens extension cable for the Mobius and OneCam 2. But any length more than 20 cm kills the signal to the PCB. If you have any useful suggestion, please let me know in the comments. This is one of my best climbs, accelerated 12 times faster. On the right side you can see the Droid Planner app. The GPS information is shared via Bluetooth from the Dragon Link transceiver. Originally, I planned to solarize the wing like shown in the pictures. It took many hours to implement the solar cells and wiring. The initial electrical test looked promising, but after a shock test, the construction turned out not to be stiffen enough to carry solar cells, and as a result, some of them cracked. For this season, I decided to remove the solar stuff and only gain experiences with thermals. At the very end, I will order the foam core buzzer sheeted wing which consists of a flat surface instead of a rebuild, so I can easily cover the new high efficiency C60 cells from SunPower. If you have enjoyed the last minutes, I would be happy if you could leave a comment, share, subscribe. Thank you. See you too from Team Extreme FPV.